dear children now let us learn about conventional plant breeding methods கடந்த 10 வருஷமா பாரம்பரிய முறையில plant breeding செஞ்சு புது கலப்பு ரகங்களை உருவாக்கி இருக்காங்க இது agriculture ஒரு பெரிய தாக்கத்தை ஏற்படுத்தி இருக்கு இந்த மெத்தட்ல ஒரு புது variety of plants எப்படி உருவாக்கப்படுதுனா அந்த plant species ல ஏற்கனவே இருக்கிற genetic material express பண்றதுக்கு that is வெளிப்படுத்துறதுக்காக select செய்யறது மூலமா புது variety உருவாக்கப்படுது now let us learn some conventional methods of plant breeding plant introduction selection hybridization heterosis mutation breeding polyploid breeding and green revolution are the different methods of conventional breeding let us see one by one first one is plant introduction it may be defined as the introduction of genotypes from a place where it is normally grown to a new place of environment varieties of genotypes irukra plants and the plant valarra edathila irundhu or pudhu edathila arimugapaduthiradhu da introduction ipo namma naatla irukra iarit rice variety philippines la irundhu introduce aanadhu sonora 63 and 64 varieties of wheat mexico la irundhu inga introduce aanadhu A newly introduced plant has to adapt itself to the new environment. This adjustment or adaptation of the introduced plant in changed environment is called acclimatization. One pudu yadatthukku plant thanna adapt aakikkudu illaya. That is called acclimatization. Ippidu pudu saa introduce pundra plants pudu yadatthil adapt pundikinum na it must be free from weeds, insects and disease causing organisms. then only it will be easily adapted to the new environment so this plant has to be carefully examined by the process quarantine like corona quarantine this plant also has to be strictly isolated this introduction method is classified as primary introduction and secondary introduction primary introduction in primary introduction the introduced variety of plant is well adapted to the new environment without any alteration to the original genotype adoda original genotype la endha change um pannamalaye adapt aagirathu in secondary introduction the introduced variety is subjected to selection in the plant variety la irundhu superior variety e thaniya pirichi adoda local variety of plants hybridization panni adu moolama introduced variety la ஒன்றோ அல்லது அதற்கு மேற்பட்ட கேரக்டர்ஸையோ மாற்றுறது இந்த பிளான்ட் இன்ட்ரொடக்ஷனில் பொட்டானிக்கல் கார்டன் ஒரு முக்கியமான ரோலாக இருக்குது ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் டீ வெரைட்டிஸ் கலெக்டட் ஃப்ரம் சைனா அண்ட் நார்த் ஈஸ்ட் இந்தியா வாஸ் இனிஷியலி க்ரோன் இன் பொட்டானிக்கல் கார்டன் ஆஃப் கொல்கட்டா அதிலிருந்து சரியான க்ளோன்ஸை செலக்ட் பண்ணி இந்தியாவில் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பார்ட்ஸ்க்கு இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் பண்ணப்பட்டது தென் செலக்ஷன் இட் இஸ் த ஓல்டஸ்ட் and basic method of plant breeding selection is the choice of certain individuals from a mixed population for one or more desirable traits or group of mixed plant variety la irundhu onro alladhu adarkku merpatta virumbathakka characters mudaiya oru sirandha plant variety e select seyradhu it is of two types natural selection and artificial selection natural selection it is the rule in nature according to the darwinism principle survival of the fittest edu thaakku pidikido adu mattum uyir palaikum but it takes longer time to bring out the desired variety of plants idu mari natural ah nadakkra selection vande romba time edukum then artificial selection it is a human involved process so it is called artificial selection it involves selection of better crop from a mixed population the individuals present in this mixed population differ in characters there are three main types of artificial selection they are mass selection pure line selection and clonal selection in mass selection a large number of plants of similar phenotype or morphological characters 
are selected from a group of plants and their seeds are mixed together to constitute a new variety. A large number of plant group lay in the Ure Madriana phenotype or morphological characters that is Velithotramulla plants are select panni and the plants order seeds are one kalandu molekevachi other in the Uru Pudhi variety Uruakarduda mass selection. Idimadri Uruakum bodhe Uru population lay in the Ure Madriana plants are select Sairanala either in the Uruagra new plants other the new generation. Original population of the Totatla uniform arco. In the Madri, repeated a Anjar Varshataka Thirumba Thirumba Senje, Bobur the Ravio, other quality a check punny, other in the superior quality a select senje, and the Videgala, Nerea Urpati senje, farmers distribute punwanga. Either a vore or a disadvantage in a na in the plants la environmental variation vandada, heredity in all variation vandadane, contributicumudia. Then Second type of artificial selection is pure line selection. The term pure line was coined by Johansson in 1903. It is a collection of plants obtained as a result of repeated self pollination from a single homozygous individual. One plant la self pollination mulama thirumba thirumba seeds urva kapata adoda phenotype and genotype ure madri irku adavadu homozygous individual kadekyo. This is called pure line selection. This is the genes of homozygosity. Homozygosity is the height of the gene. The alleles are capital T, capital T. Heterozygous is capital T, small t. The only disadvantage in pure line selection is there is no chance of getting new genotype. And these plants are less adaptable and less stable to the environmental differences. Environment Here is the difference between mass selection and pure line selection. In mass selection, there is a collection of phenotypically similar plants, whereas in pure line selection, the new generation is derived from a single plant by self pollination. In mass selection, the selected plant variety is registered and marketed. They are heterozygous varieties. In pure line selection, the best pure lines are registered and marketed. They are homozygous varieties. The third type of artificial selection is clonal selection. Clones are derived from asexual reproduction. Clone is a progeny of a single plant. The progenies derived from asexual reproduction resemble in genetic constitution with the parent plant because they divide mitotically. Here, improved variety are selected based on their phenotypic appearance from a mixed population. The selected plants are multiplied through vegetative reproduction. They produce clones. The genotype of these clones will not change for a longer period of time. This is a schematic representation of clonal selection. In first year, hundreds of superior plants are selected. In second year, selected plants learn the Asexual reproduction moolama clones of Ruakwanga. Then from these clones, desirable clones are selected. In third year, the first production of clones are checked with standard check. Select panna clones order mudal vilachala thara persodana sevanga. Then disease resisting best quality plants are selected. From these selections, a few outstanding clones are selected. Mudal vilachala thara persodana panni. Disease resisting plants are select panni, other in the Romba Nalla irkara clones are select saivanga. Unga book la preliminary trail ne kutur kanga, other trial na matikonga. T R I A L trial. Then from 4 to 6 years, multi location yield trials with standard checks. Other the wherever a yadangalla, either a velachal epidirkine, check saivanga. Over Yedatala Yirkar condition Kathanamari plant Valor and Lea Yella Yedatalu, Nala Valaydana Pathe, other learn the best clones select punny, other new variety identify punwanga. In seventh year, the identified best clones are released as a new variety. The seeds are multiplied and distributed to the farmers. Okay, children. 
So far, we have learnt two conventional plant breeding methods. They are plant introduction and selection. The rest in the next class. Thank you children.